me. So I went up on the step, and the chap I was asking, he didn't, uh, asked later on when it actually went up there, and he couldn't remember. But it was this week or last week, or I think you said it was Monday or Tuesday. He was too interested in his fish and chips, though. What I called you was, um, 2200 on BBC4, um, Channel 9 3 view. I'm not sure whether you can get that. That's the Penley, then the Union Transport, Union Star, uh, which happened 30 years ago. All a bit sad, but um, I think I've seen it before, I'm not sure. Uh, on BBC4, Channel 9, that is, uh, free view, 2200 hours to an hour. Around the, around the town. 
and they were just welding it in, Dave, but he was a bit concerned. <laughs> he, was, he was checking with them to make sure they got the measurements right, so when they dropped it, the um, actual thruster is hydraulic, and it's um, the tube is just big enough to take it with its studs. They cut, they cut a hole in the um, tube to go up into the inside of the hull, and they pull it up into that that gap, into that hole they've cut, long studs, and there's a flange goes on, seals it all. I so there's a gasket both sides. Uh, the, um, I'll take a picture of the bow thruster, and on the deck without its propeller in the workshop. Uh, so obviously it's the same angle, the same curvature as the bit the inside the tube. So it's quite interesting. Uh, I guess I could, uh, I might try, try and get down after this, all this business is finished. And uh, I'll get on, on it, Dave, over. Yeah, it's, it's sort of uh, creeping up, isn't it, that date. It's moving closer and closer, so uh, other projects have got to stop. I bet it was quite nice to get out and back down the harbour there, Chris. Nice little break for you. Yeah, it certainly was. <laughs> I need to uh, I need to get out of here for a while, I think. Um, <laughs> I need some free space, Dave. I'm missing it. Yeah, we well, should get too demanding in your free space. Spare cabin here. <laughs> yeah. I think you're saving, but uh, better, better not. Um, OK, well, thanks for the information. Sounds like you had a nice day out. I wonder if you ventured into the shop. Uh, I went into the town uh, first thing, and it was uh, pretty quiet. But uh, no doubt, uh, once uh, the time had ticked on, it just got, got pretty horrendous, I would have thought. Yeah, I'm not sure what time we got down. Tram's going now, but we had a bit of lunch. Uh, sandwich down the town. Um, I only went to Rogers up in Grange Road to get the batteries, the button cells, of course he's watching the uh, counter, the carbo counter I've got. And I've uh, got a spare one for the um, for the motherboard though, which I'm going to try and put in a capsulate with a couple of wires on it, ready in case I need it. Uh, three batches were only four quid odd. Um, and then we went, um, I forget where we went after that. I think it was Tug first, then up to Wil uh, Rogers, then the Wilkinson's. I oh, went a bit of lunch, then went to it, Wilkinson's. And another shop in the town, Chris, he wanted to get to get some cake boards. So. Then back down to the Tug again for uh, another half an hour. <laughs> then back home, and it was dark then, Dave, over. Ah, what if you took a walk along and saw the light? I uh, just put the tree on, just as it got dark. I'm just going to go out now and get some photographs of the boat uh, for the uh, the old uh, album. I haven't got any of her lit up, nor the MSC. And I've got, I've got a couple of Father Christmas climbing the mast or the radar post in uh, Ascension Island and uh, Great Barrier Island in New Zealand. And uh, that one was in the Caribbean. But, um, done with it lit up, so uh, I just wanted to probably be the best evening tonight. I'm going to pop out in a moment and uh, raise the elements and uh, get a couple of night shots. OK, well thanks for the information uh, there Chris. I'll have to um, get on. Um, I must, must have seen them more and more uh, as I went around, because I was around Portsmouth, uh, Paul um, in the 70s and uh, early 80s. So around uh, sort of 69 onwards, I, I must have sort of saw them uh, around quite a bit. So uh, I'll have a look online later and refresh the old brain cells. Anyway, I'll take one more over from you. I'm not sure if the uh, Nutter's Neck will be on at uh, 1800. If so, I shall uh, give them a break and let those guys uh, have a natter. And uh, thanks again for the information there, Chris. G0 WVA, Maritime Mobile. Yeah, OK, Dave. Um, yeah, it was before, when we was up the top on the tidal ball, we was um, walking back to the car, because we had to park a fair way from the, from the town, up by getting towards uh, the uh, tennis courts up by Allen, you know, up around there. <laughs> about the only three bits of road up around there. Um, and it wasn't dark enough for the lights to be on the, any of the boats. It all, all looked a bit depressing down there. 
We was actually trying to sort out, we was having a few words about which one was yours. And I, because he ran, it was the one nearest the, uh, the gates, you know, and the loose. But I said no, because it's a fair walk from where the, where the tilt gate is, you know, where you have to show your card. Uh, it's a, a way, it's about halfway between there and the, um, and the lock gates, isn't it? Yeah, if you're at that barrier where you picked up the other evening, now we've got a three day boat, uh, not the motor boat. The third one up. We've got a blue one and two white ones. Uh, so the third white one is me, and then there's another white sailing boat right at the end. So it's the third sailing boat along. Over. Yeah, your signal's a bit dodgy then, I think it'll go. When you step out of yours onto the uh, pontoon, is there a, another largish uh, yacht with a blue um, with a blue head of cloth, <laughs> blue tarpaulin? Uh, not tarpaulin. What do I want? The word I want. Anyway, it looks fairly new. The blue. Yes, I forgot about that. Yes, I've got a new neighbour. Yeah, behind me. So, yep, yeah, there's a big one behind me, Chris. Yeah, I've got the right one then, I'm going to, <laughs> not to tell Chris you got the wrong one. I know you're a bit further up. Okay, go on to Dave. G0WVA, G0VT. Uh, nothing else to tell you about the target, I can't remember what else he said they were doing around the back, around the stern of it. It's registered in Plymouth. Still got Plymouth, still registered in Plymouth. The old owner is... Um, He's uh, tickled pink, but I think he said he's had it about six years. So he's like, hoping to make a bit, few more bob out of it. Now he's got his, um, bringing a bit, few more, bit more money with his bell faster. Yeah, I should think you'll know, notice quite a bit of difference in uh, manoeuvrability with that because they're pretty naff at uh, sort of slow speed. This is there, Graham and uh, Robert. Today, so I don't know if I take a break and uh, let the guys have a little natter. But uh, many thanks, Chris. Yeah, good night, Dave. G0WVA Maritime Mobile Ramsgate. G0VT cleared. Ta-da.